So it's your turn now because you listen to yes. Anna. It's very inspiring that, you know, in spite of her success, you know, as a lawyer working in a very nice company, you know, she still find that, you know, and she understand that the source is God himself, that okay. everything will go back to him. So that's why she's now offering herself and she finds fulfillment, you know, and peace whenever she's at the Adoration Chapel praying. That is very rare for a young, you know, professional, you know, because I find it, she's totally 360 turned around from <laughs> those professionals that I have met, you know, because most of the profession right now are, you know, competing with one another. Everybody wants to be on top of one another, want to be popular, want to be praised, but in her case, you can just listen to her. It's all nothing, you know, for her. Now, in your case, so what do you think is the challenges that you have seen, you know, because uh, you, you said you work only very few months with this environmental. But Actually, it's you know, you year. are God's steward, right? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think you can do, you know? I guess in my way, it's, it's, it's not to do with my, my, my expertise, yes, or what, yes. but through my work, mm -hmm. uh, how, how I can combine my work my experiences with God together yes. mm -hmm. and um, through through my daily um, interactions with my colleagues yes. at the workplace mm -hmm. how I can bring God to them okay how can how they can see God mm -hmm. oh well if mm -hmm. God uses me as a vehicle that they may see God through me Mm -hmm. I guess that's so how really do you important. find it successful because I'm sure your colleague you know colleague will yes. find you're very weird you know, <laughs> yeah. why are you talking to us like that when they don't even understand what you're talking about yes. so don't you think it's a big challenge on your part how to convince them that what I'm talking about is the one they should look forward to that they should make it priority well I, I don't I don't put it out strongly about my faith but then it, it's through the tiny things that you do like how you approach someone, like just say, you know, arguments between gossiping. There's always all these office politics. Try to stay calm. Mm -hmm. Try to, and whenever possible, um, give thanks. And that, in a way, they might see, oh, this person is a little different. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So you find it that is very effective in, I think it's, in it, evangelizing yes. them little by little without you knowing it. Yeah. So were you able to be able to convince some of your colleagues to go back or to be baptized? Um, well, as, as I was saying, I've, I've only been in my organization for a short time. Short time yes. So I guess time will tell. <laughs> Time. But you will not give up to what you no. think is your mission. It's, I mean, it, I wouldn't put it as my mission because I, it, for me, it's as natural as breathing. Oh, so okay. the way I act, the way I do things, the way I see things, it's, it's how I've been brought up. So it, I don't have to force it out. Mm -hmm. So you mean to say, since... You got the influence from your mom as early as four years old. Mm -hmm. You were yes. baptized yeah. at that age. Yeah. It comes naturally already, yeah. your faith, right? Yes. And you feel that, you know, whenever you deal with people, you always put priority to God's presence in your life. And you just wanted to share it with others, yes. you know, that if you think as what I think that God is our priority in life, maybe they could feel a lot better also, right? Yes. So through your example, you are showing them that what they are searching for can be seen in you. So that is also doing missionary work without your knowing. Yeah. Right? Yes. So this is quite interesting, both Anna and Conrad, you know, because both of you have different world, you know, and then to see young people, you know, convinced, you know, your conviction is very strong, each in your own little way. Mm -hmm. But we will continue because I think we should have another episode because we will have more entertaining life story or sharing <laughs> that you can share with our Televiewer because mm -hmm. what we hope is to inspire young Filipino, you know, youth that life is worth fighting for mm -hmm. and that God should always be there on top of everything. Tutuloy po namin na aming magandang discussion sa susunod na linggo. So, antabayan niyo ang part 2 na ito ko. Anong pag-uusapan siya po ang antabayan niyo sa susunod na linggo? Dito po sa programa ng Power Tonight with Elvira. <music>